to uh, unrest, violence, disturbance, okay, if a particular freedom. Firstly, let's, let us talk about freedom. Do you think there is absolute freedom of speech in the world anywhere today? Um, no. In, an, in a perfect atheistic society, in your uh, utopia or your, you know, fairyland, <laughs> let's, let's call it fairyland, atheistic fairyland where all atheists, all good people have come together and they are now living by atheism in this fairyland, okay, a bit, bit my, in, in my little pony land, right, where there are rainbows and there are green trees, everyone's happy-go-lucky, right, in that particular land, would you have absolute freedom of speech? So, there is no such thing as an atheistic world uh, because atheism is nothing but a lack of belief in God. Okay. What you're describing is maybe a unrest. world that is living by... Uh, unrest, violence, disturbance, okay, if a particular freedom. Firstly, let's, let us talk about freedom. Do you think there is absolute freedom of speech in the world anywhere today? Um, no. In, an, in a perfect atheistic society, in your uh, utopia or your, you know, fairyland, <laughs> let's, let's call it fairyland, atheistic fairyland where all atheists, all good people have come together and they are now living by atheism in this fairyland, okay, a bit, bit my, in, in my little pony land, right, where there are rainbows and there are green trees, everyone's happy-go-lucky, right? In that particular land, would you have absolute freedom of speech? So, there is no such thing as an atheistic world, because atheism is nothing but a lack of belief in God. Okay. What you're describing is maybe a world that is living by enlightenment values, because atheism doesn't offer any values. Okay. It's just a lack of belief in God and nothing else. Right. right. So, in my, in the world so, that So, why are you burning the Quran then? If it doesn't offer values... Uh, because you, I'm not just an atheist. Okay. There are many things that... Uh, atheism is just one of the things I am. So, I'm also a humanist. I also believe in enlightenment values. That's on top of my atheism. Good. It doesn't come with Let's talk atheism. about humanism now. Let's say we are in this fairyland governed by humanists, like yourself. In that humanist society, would you have absolute freedom of speech? Um, I wouldn't have... There would, no, I'm not absolute. There's certain... So how are you different to Britain? How are you different to a Sharia state? No. A, a state governed by Sharia, Islamic law? Because they have Incite, certain... Inciting yeah. violence, I think, might be... Like if I say... Like if I say... Let, no, no, no. Let's not go to the details. No, let's establish I'm... the basis first. You, as a humanist, would not allow... Well, Dep absolute freedom of speech depends on what you mean by absolute freedom of speech okay i mean by absolute um, so, i mean absolute freedom of speech okay so yeah. freedom of speech should be allowed on all absolute freedom of speech should be allowed unless it breaks other laws that is not about speech do you know what i mean who decides who decides what's bad and what's good who decides uh, people. In, in, a, in people based on data people okay based if, on data. If, if a group of people come together let's say a million people come together and they decide that be. we want to slaughter all uh, uh, all Muslims no, no. or all Jews or for well, like what happened in Germany social consensus would that be okay it's not based on consensus it's based on it's based on making decisions based on data and evidence and on what maximizes well-being in a society okay let's say a majority in in a human Society. It's not a majority base. It's based on evidence. Okay. It's based on evidence and data to come up with values and laws that maximizes well-being in a society. Who defines well-being in a society? Who defines what's good, what's bad in a society? Who defines that? The people that have studied it, the people that have... Good. Expertise. Now that I'm, I'm posing a question, those people who have studied uh, people we in Islam call Ahlul Halli wal Aqt, we have a concept of learned people as well right. who define what is, uh, uh, who interpret the law of God. Wait, wait. Now that your learned people have come together and they have come out with an idea, and that idea is, for example, like I gave you examples, kill all the Jews, God forbid, like the, like the Germans did in the 1940s, or kill all the Muslims, right? Like what was happening in Burma. That's and, maximizing uh, well-being. But if they decide, yeah, if, they, if you're... They're wrong, but okay. But then, is it still law then? Um, no, because they didn't use evidence. But they didn't. No, they they do all that. Let's say they they come to a conclusion. How, how is killing Jews maximizing well-being? 
obviously it's not. This is hurting people. Okay. The whole point of coming. Hitler, the... how Hitler rationalized the killing of the Jewish people was just like that. He gave certain reasons, some research he produced, and he realized that the Jews are doing X, Y, and Z. Therefore, they deserve to be killed. This is how Hitler argued, right? And many German people, learned people, scientists, philosophers, uh, social scientists, all people came together, and they kind of agreed with Hitler. And lo and behold, we have the Holocaust. So your reasoning that in a humanistic society or in a humanist society, learned people will come together and they will make laws or they will tell us what's good and what's bad. What if they make a blunder? What, what, what if, they, if they make a mistake? What's going to happen then? Well, I'm talking about coming up with laws that maximize as well-being, not something that causes the Holocaust. What? Okay, look, what? Okay, well, if they decide well-being well well is to get rid of a certain thing. If you want to talk about what ifs, right? I mean, you have to apply the equality, the standard to what you're, what you're talking about. Because people that have used God's okay. law I'll give you as a specific. source, people that use God's law as a source, of uh, you know coming up with us they have caught, they have resulted in her, you, you, her you're still not listening to my question okay I'm saying let's say I'll give you a specific example if, there is a society with disabled people yeah. it's an atheistic society right. that doesn't believe in God right and disabled people are seen as a burden by let's say eight out of ten atheist researchers in that humanist society eight Eight come up with a, with an idea that we put these disabled, mentally retarded, okay, uh, people, those who do not feel, uh, you know, don't, those who don't don't have cognition. How's we it, do. How's it humanist? Okay, so you say. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. Yeah, they come to this conclusion. These eight people, out of ten, the majority, they say that it would be uh, sympathy or it would be mercy for them to die. So let's let's put them all down. Let's put them down. Okay, eight now agree, and they have grounds to say what they are saying. Because they will give the reasons. Uh, killing them would save X amount of food, X amount of oxygen, X amount of space, beds. We need beds, we need more water. So, because they don't have cognition, they're not really doing anything in the society. Wait, wait, let me fi finish my question. Therefore, we should kill them all and get rid of them because they're not, they're not, they are not doing anything productive for the society. They are disabled, they're mentally retarded. Eight out of ten decide to do that and they give overwhelming evidence to support their claims. What do you say in that case? I mean, I know you're trying to be as politically correct uh, or, or morally correct as possible. I, I know, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, if you're an atheist, morality is an issue for you, big, big problem. No, no, I'm not saying you don't have morality. Try to understand where I'm coming from. I'm saying, as an atheist, you cannot claim to believe in objective morality. Morality becomes relative. If you're an atheist, morality becomes relative to people, to cultures, to feelings, to sentiments, to, uh, to, to, to land, but you, you know. Okay, well, which one do I want to be responsible to, the first one or this one? First one. Okay. Um, that's what, what you describe by the very definition of humanism is not humanistic. I was talking about people that believe in humanism coming up, uh, coming up with it. If people are deciding to kill off people because they're mentally retarded, by the very definition of humanism, they're not humanists. By okay. the very definition of humanism, the people that are deciding... Is, is there a problem with atheism? I mean, is, does athe atheism... That's not atheism, you know? okay. That's separate. A, a religious person can be a humanist. Okay. Okay? Humanism means just looking for the maximizing the well-being of okay. humans. Who defines uh, humanism? What What is human... Give me a definition of humanism. Humanism is like the, sim the simple version of it in looking after humans and maximizing their well-being. Uh, that's Islam. That's not humanism. We believe in that. So okay. how is humanism special? Why do I, as a Muslim, why do I have to follow humanism? What's so special about humanism? Give me a definition of humanism. So what, what, what we believe is that yeah. divine authority or faith is not a good source of figuring out... That's atheism. That's not humanism. That's well, atheism. Well, as an atheist, yeah. I believe so that the, the best human... The best is humanism human, atheism? Um, okay, there's a disagreement between humanists. I think that human... I believe that religious people can be humanists, right? Okay. A lot of humanists think that they... they so can. what is the... What so is my atheism is impacting my humanism. Okay. okay? My, so humanism and atheism are separate, but my atheism is impacting my humanism. So give me a, a definition of humanism. Um, what is humanism? 
you made it, but based on the, I already gave you a definition. And what you is said, it? And you said based on my definition, which is maximizing the well-being of humans, right? That's Islam. Yeah, you said that's Islam. Yes. Right? But based on my atheism, I think the best way to maximize the well-being of humans is to look at evidence based on the objective reality rather than uh, divine authority and based on faith. I agree. I agree. But the Islam doesn't go against that in any shape or form. So why, uh, why are you a humanist? Because the ulama and the religious leaders, they are looking, the main source of what solutions for them is a book based on, that came from the heavens. Right, right? but, but it, 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 and, and belief is that the Quran and the prophetic tradition maximizes human well-being. And we, we agree yeah, with that, and we accept that's, that. We, that's, that's why that, we're Muslims. That's the part I disagree with. Okay. And, by the way, and, and, I, and I appreciate that, by the way. Like, the, even if I don't think they're going to the right source, the fact that the intention is to maximize the well-being of humans, I sympathize with that. I just don't agree with the source of data. They're going to the... Do How do you understand that source of data? Right, so... The, the, this why, why, why don't you understand it the way Muslims understand it? I mean, you... Because I don't believe in God, and they're going to God for the answers. Obviously. No, but, but if they are Muslims and they are doing good deeds, as you said, there are many good Muslims in the world. Right. I'm saying they are good because of Islam. And oh. if they have a particular interpretation of Islam, which is good, mm -hmm. which is good, why don't you follow that good interpretation uh, over a bad one which you which you have conceived so that's that's what that's the disagreement i don't i think they're they're good people not because of islam i think they're good people in spite of islam okay good I, right. let's talk about it right. if muslims doing charity why are they doing it because they because they have sympathy because no. they're good people no they are they will tell you we so, are doing charity zakat is an obligation in Islam. Okay. We are doing charity because Islam makes makes it obligatory. Oh. So you can't now divorce the two. You can't separate the two. So, you can't have your cake and eat it. So I, I I think Muslims are good are good enough that if you take Islam away from them, they will still do charity. Okay. I said okay, and I think if if somebody like let's say a Christian, so, so let's, let's say Christian. Right? Okay. Then then I have then I have another counter claim. The most charity community in the world currently is the Muslim community by statistics even in Britain no it's atheist no yeah. <laughs> you, you, oh, come on I have you data know. for that listen, I have data for listen. that no. the problem, listen listen yeah. do you know how much charity Muslims do every Ramadan the, you know that you know the it outweighs all the charities do you know uh, the problem with the atheist charities is that they don't atheists don't go label themselves as atheist charities right so, so we don't they, they, when so, they do, so, when so they, we don't have the data no so we, do, the, we do but we don't have have it we don't have it in one charity like we don't have an atheist charity so how do you calculate the data if they don't well, if they don't record it no because okay. as atheist charity no because when some, when they donate when we're polling based on people's beliefs but they don't po they don't donate like to, to atheist charity they donate to like God but how reporting. do you calculate they're, what they're, how do you calculate results based with the Muslim polling, community based on polling and opinions but we don't have an atheist charity we, we no but I, you're still not trying I mean yeah. how do you calculate the charity if, they, if they're not giving it to atheist okay. charities or if there are no atheist charities with the label atheist charity right. how do we know the charity done is by atheists but because polling and questioning and you know like there's so many data census data polling data how much you give to charity last month what do you believe in stuff like that so but so so how many atheists do you have you said the largest I don't community. have the data right I'd right like, I'd memorize but right. I, okay but that's not important yeah, but but do you know that Muslims are the the most charitable community okay, in the world let's just give and it. in Britain in particular let's give that okay that means Muslims are good people okay right? now why are the Muslims the most charitable people in the world why why are they sep why are they different to Christians why are they different to the Jewish people I mean I'm not saying the Christians and the Jews don't do charity they do they are they, they are very are kind people of course atheists of course of course right I'm saying why are the Muslims distinctively charitable so here's the thing I think that um, if a, the, um, let's say two types of Muslims right one Muslim 
is giving to charity, but if you as long, take as long away from them, they will still give to charity. Okay? How, how can you make that claim when we have clear data no, to show us that Muslims... No, no, you're not listening. Muslims, yeah. you're not listening yeah. Yeah. I, I, let's say the second type of Muslims, there's two types of Muslims, that is giving to charity because of Islam. And if you take Islam away from them, they will stop giving to charity. Okay? Two types of Muslims, one of them will continue giving to charity, and the other one will stop giving to charity. To me, Where's the evidence for that? No, I'm, Where's the evidence for that? I'm not, you just made a claim that no, no, certain I, Muslims would, 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 would give charity even if Islam didn't exist. No, from all the Muslims in the world, don't, don't you agree that some Muslims will continue giving to charity even without... I don't know. What well, we do know, no, what we do know, I don't my, know about... My, my evidence, it, that's my a hypothetical evidence, question. My evidence is all the ex-Muslims that continue giving to charity. Okay. Okay? I, my argument is they are influenced but by I, Islam. I haven't even made my point. Right. Okay, my point is that the Muslims that are giving to charity because they want to give to charity okay. are better people because they're not just following a command. They want to give because they... So, because so somehow Muslims are, Muslims are more compassionate? Muslims globally no, are more... I'm just saying from the... From the I don't know, maybe, maybe they are. Maybe they okay, are. why? I don't know. But just, I don't know. But, 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 amazingly, one thing common about these charitable people from Morocco to Bangladesh is that they are Muslims. By the way, I don't and, know, and, I don't know and, if the data you're saying is true, by the way, because I can't check it right now. Okay. I, I, maybe it's true. I'm not Go and check it. I will check. Come back to me if I'm wrong. The most charitable community in Britain, and, uh, proportionally speaking, mm -hmm. not that the British people are not charitable, the British people are absolutely generous. They are very, very compassionate people. But, if it's, but proportionally is, speaking... Is it generous? Is it generous if it's mandatory? Sorry? Is it generous if it's mandatory? If you're giving because you have to give, are you actually being generous? Yes. How I'll tell you generous? why. Because because you can you can refuse to follow the command. So this is where but the connection. But you're sinning. But you're sinning. This is where the connection is. So they are generous because of Islam. Because Islam makes them but generous. That's the point I'm making. Is it genuinely gener out of generosity? Yes. If you're just yes. trying to avoid sinning. If Islam commands, if the Quran commands, be generous, and Muslims choose to be generous, they are being generous because of the command. Because God as they see it, commands them to be generous. Therefore, they are generous because of Islam. You can't make that distinction. You can't separate the two. And you're somebody, trying to separate the two. I think somebody is generous if they're giving out of their out of kindness. Okay, let's step, not because they're following let's, commands. Let's go step by step. Does Islam command to do charity? Yes, I could. I come to say could. Yes. Charity, right? right? And Muslims do charity. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now. <laughs> a natural outcome, a natural uh, conclusion of the calculation would be that the Muslims are doing it because they are told in Islam to do charity. And when they say we are giving zakat, zakat is an Islamic concept. So when they give 2.5% of the wealth around the world, whether they're Saudis, Qataris, Pakistanis, British Muslims, or American Muslims, when they give zakat, right. zakat is Islamic. Okay, wait, let me finish. So that zakat is Islam. You cannot say oh, Islam is bad, but the Muslims are good. Because Muslims do charity because no, they are good actually, naturally. I can say I'm it, saying they are good because they are doing zakat, which is Islam. Actually, I think that... You, you, get the, you get the point. I, I, I get that. But I think the, the charity that the non-religious people are doing is way more effective and better charity than the one that religious people It's a claim. It's a good claim. There's a blue monkey flying there. Can you see it? Yeah. It's a claim. So yeah, I, I, you will have to show... I, no, yeah. I acknowledge that I might be wrong. Okay. Yeah, okay. The, but, but because... Based on my experience, the money that goes towards zakat is not used as efficiently as and effectively. That's controlled. a separate question. No, no. But Again, you're saying, you're, you're, look, first, you, you're still not. I'm trying to tell you, Muslims who give zakat, yeah. which is charity, which is compassion and generosity, they are doing it because of Islam. There's a direct link between between yeah. the action and the teaching. So you cannot separate yes, the two. You can't but, say Islam but is just, not good and the Muslims are good. Muslims are good because they want to be no, good. No, that's or, not a good thing. That's not good charity. What do you mean that's not a good charity? Well, okay, okay. I, come, I come from a country, I come from Iran, right? So I don't know where other places are like, right? But the, the money that Iran collects from Homs is... By the way, Iran 
does not represent Muslims around the world. Did you, you, you know that, right? I know, but... Every, Iran, everyone... Iran is following a minority view almost, on Islam, almost. which is less than 10% of Muslims. Muslims, and, if and you want to look at Muslims, and, look outside of Iran. Iran okay? doesn't represent it, Saudi Arabia doesn't represent it, right? No, it does. It does? To, to people do. Not the government, but the people do. Okay, there are, there the are charity... Saudi government, the Saudi government doesn't represent Islam, right? I'm saying Saudi people follow Orthodox Islam. They do? And yeah, they do. So Wahhabi they follow, Islam is good? I don't know what you mean by Wahhabi. Okay. What do you mean by Wahhabi Islam? Now, this okay. is a, this no, is a no, new okay. no, no. I want to talk. I'm, okay. I'm a very, I'm a very open okay. person. You no, want to talk my, about? My, my, you want to talk my, about? No, no, the, no, the tree is green. Let's talk about that. No, Wahhabi. What's Wahhabi? My point is that. Let's talk about Wahhabi my Islam. My point is that Muslims yeah. disagree on many, many different things, right? And all Muslims are. So do atheists. So do monkeys. No, but so, living, so do elephants. You said you're open to having. Sorry? Elephants they don't. Sometimes they fight. Have you not seen two elephants fighting? My, my point is that Muslims... So even, even animals disagree. <laughs> Humans disagree more because they have more rationality. Yeah. My point is yeah. that Muslims, they all agree that the Islam that they're following is the only true Islam. No. And all other Muslims no. have got it wrong. Orthodox Muslims who are educated and they know what their faith is, um, they, 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 they are. You, you, you refuse to look at them. For some reason, you can't see them. I, I mean, when we show them to you, they look at these generous Muslims giving charity, 2.5 percent of their wealth. Look at these generous Muslims taking care of orphans around the world. Look at them doing work in Africa, in South America, in in, in all the countries when there are floods. Muslims are there, right? right? So, so are the Americans. Muslims are there more. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. No, no, no. Actually, that's a very good example yeah. because you know, I, I, I'm not a supporter of United States foreign policy. Okay, I have a lot of. I'm, I'm very critical of United States foreign policy. But when it comes to aid, when it comes to a country that is there first when there's a when there's a national disaster that happens with the highest amount of resources and the highest number of experts, is United States comes there the first and United States leaves the la the last. I it think I the longest, right? I agree. Right. Americans are very generous in charity. They do a lot of charity. Even the government, the U.S. aid, no doubt, they send their wow, jets with with wheat and food and all of that. Wow. You see that because that's what the news I, shows you, right? I see. More but I have seen I've I've seen what happens on the ground when there were floods in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. When people got devastated or when they were, there was a huge earthquake not very long ago, a few years back, okay? People, people, they left their homes, they filled trucks with provisions. Not that others wouldn't do it, of course, others do also. But Muslims, for some reason, and why am I saying Muslims again specifically? Because it is part of their faith. It is the third pillar of Islam to do charity. This is the connection you're not, you're not making. You're failing to make it. I'm trying to make that connection. Others also do charity. Christians do it. The Jewish people do it. The Americans do it. The Israelis do it. Let me go far. The Israelis do it, right? They do charity. I am saying the Muslims do charity specifically because it's part of their faith. Okay. And you're, 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 you're breaking that connection for some reason. Okay, but maybe because... It's, it's, it's simple. It's baby, it's baby logic. Okay, so if you're willing to make that connection, hmm. are you willing to make the connection of all the horrible things that Muslims do? Let's talk about them. To, to okay, Islam? yeah, let's talk about them. Let's see what the faith says. It, here, let's make the connection. Absolutely fair. This is a very good point. So you're... You're telling me that I'm making a connection between a good deed and a good teaching in Islam. Why don't I make the same connection when Muslims do horrible things and the teachings of Islam? Let's make that connection. Talk about it. Which horrible deed do you want to talk about? Rape? Muslims raping? You want to make? Show me anywhere in Islam where it says rape. Show me anywhere in Islam where it says kill innocent people. Once they're innocent people. Show me anywhere in Islam, rob people, steal from people, anywhere, lie to people, anywhere, go on. So let's start with the killing of... So, yeah, yeah, before we do, do we both agree that Islam teaches good things and Muslims do those good things? Do, you, do we both agree? Well, I, ha I have to see more data. I right now believe... I just I, told you, no. the third pillar of Islam is charity. I believe, Therefore, Muslims do charity. Well, is there a connection? I believe that yeah. Muslims are good enough to do that even without Islam. But maybe I'm wrong. I will go look and do more research okay. to see if it's... Isn't this ironic that you want to quickly make a connection between evil deeds I and some teachings of I Islam? 
um, you want to jump to that opportunity, but when we want to uh, we want to deal with the first point. I'm examining it. I'm, okay. not, I may, I'm, not, I'm not making a conclusion on either of these points. Right. So I'm considering your position on that, and I'm going to go think about okay. it. Okay. Let's. And I'm going to no, no. no. I, I haven't made a conclusion about the first one or the second. Okay. One. Let's I'm, talk. I'm let's be. Let's I'm be. Examining both of them with you. Let's be simple. Right. Let's be simple. I'm. Ex yes. But let's go. To let's be simple. Point. The prophet said. The Prophet of Islam said, "Buni al-Islamu ala khamsin: Shahadat yin la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammadur Rasulullah wa ikami salawa aitai zakat." The Prophet of Islam taught, Islam is based upon five: number one, proclamation of faith; number two, prayer; yes, number three, the compulsory compulsory charity. So, you, so you accept the Prophet taught that? Well, allegedly, yes. What do you mean allegedly? Well, because... Uh, okay, let's go to the Quran then. No, Does no. the Quran teach it? Yes, yes. Yes? Yes. Okay. Quran teaches it. Right. Now, do Muslims give zakat? Yes, yes. Sir. Okay. But that's the why are they, Why are Muslims giving zakat? Um, well, because of Islam, but I think... Thank you. Well, let's move on now to the next point. But I that's think, it. That's it. This is all I no, wanted no, no. to give. The yeah. point is that yeah. I think without Islam, they would have given to another form of charity. You're still not getting it. I'm saying, I'm saying zakat is charity. Muslims do zakat specifically by calculating the right amount. They give it in charity. Why? I believe why because of Islam. Thank you. I, Let, let's move. Let's move to some evil stuff now. The additional okay. part to that is I think Muslims will still give to charity without Islam. We're not talking about that. Okay. We're, we are talking about what Muslims are doing for Islam right. or because of Islam. Right. Sounds good. Okay. Let's go to the evil part. Okay. Now, now we are we are in agreement after having spoken for about half an hour so, that Muslims do. Muslims actually do good things for because of Islam. But this is so now it's clear. But, okay. But now we want to talk about Muslims doing doing bad things allegedly because but, of Islam. Let's talk about them. But this is a good discussion, though, right? Yes, absolutely. I'm I'm very happy about right. this discussion. And I'm not being getting rude. somewhere. I'm not being rude or anything. I, I I hope I'm not being rude as no, well. No, you're not. Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. So let's talk about some other connections. Right. We have clearly made a connection successfully between Islam and Muslim actions, right. good right. actions, okay. charity. Okay, huge amounts of charity done by Muslims globally because of Islam. So we, we made that connection very clearly now. From this day on, you will now tell people that Islam teaches good things and Muslims therefore do those good things because of Islam. But you're ignoring my second part, which is fine. No, we're not discussing the second part. Okay, but that, okay. I think the second part was important. It right. is important, right. but my, my job is to show you that Islam teaches good things and Muslims do them. Now. We want to talk about the second point. Yeah, let's go to the second yeah. point. Okay. So, so, I don't know, there are many examples, but let's go with the kill, killing of apostates. Killing of apostates, okay. Right, is that something that uh, Islam teaches that people that leave Islam should be killed because they left Islam? Okay, killing of apostates is something within the domain of Islam, did you know that? Yes. Right, okay. Is that okay? Who, First of all, who is an apostate? I am an apostate. Okay, but who is an apostate? What is an apostate? Somebody, an, a, a, somebody that, that leaves us love. No. That's not an apostate. Well, that's not an apostate. Technically, in Islam, that's not an apostate. So the to, hadith, to, to him, the hadith specifically says that yeah. somebody that has converted to Islam and they leave Islam, yeah, they should be killed. They had, okay. How would how would Joe or Tom or George? How would they know that someone has left Islam? They announce it publicly. Okay, so when they announce it publicly, what are they trying to achieve? An apostate who announces it publicly, what is he or she trying to achieve by announcing it publicly? To In a Muslim domain. To spread his ideas, for example. Okay, to spread his or her ideas. And the law forbids it. The law says you cannot spread such ideas. For example, in Britain, in Britain, it is not allowed to spread certain ideas. You go to jail. You stand. If I stand here today and it's, I say X, Y, and Z, do you get beheaded for it? Yes, I get burnt alive. In Britain. By Britain. Burned alive. Yes, burnt alive right, right now. Today. Today. We got attacked for. They burn you alive in Britain. Yes. It says the law. In Syria. In Syria, no, here in Britain. Wait, 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 wait. In Syria, British jets droned living people. They burnt them alive. They shredded them for what? 
political apostasy because these these people who went to fight in Syria were as were apostates they were political apostates from the British system and British Prime Minister chose to kill them extrajudicially without a trial without without a lawyer without a case they were bombed in Syria I'm not saying whether this was wrong or right actually the killing I disagree with. I believe even Hitler deserved a trial I believe in a civilized society where people are accused of crimes they deserve a fair trial we, we both agree right so killing anyone extrajudicially is uncivilized barbaric this is what Britain does today America does it today but okay. Why are we talking so, about what Britain does, though? I'm talking about Islam, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm saying certain countries do it in in different ways. But we're so, not judging God by what countries do, right? So, so certain societies, for example, they have come to agree on certain philosophical ideas. Like in Britain, uh, I think the British Prime Minister wasn't acting alone. He had uh, a bunch of people behind him who agreed with his philosophy that we should actually kill these uh, people like mosquitoes. We should kill them. We should not give them trial we should not put them in the dock we should not give them the respect of having a lawyer we should kill them so therefore action was carried out so they're so, wrong. They're no, wrong. no no wait 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 who are you to say that they they have a parliament they have chosen a prime minister the prime minister has decided that he wants to do this and whether he's right or wrong the community uh, the intelligent people the educated people the representatives of people chosen by people have come to conclude by your humanist standard what they did was right well, how do we get here we're, we're talking about whether it's okay to kill ex muslims or not no 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 i'm trying to give you an example are you changing it no because breaking certain laws breaking certain laws in a in a society if you know the laws then you're putting your life in danger if there is if there's a society and it has made certain laws for you example believe in unjust laws do you believe there okay. could be unjust laws okay now we're talking so let's say there are two groups of people one group says this law is unjust okay. the other one says no it is just right and who do we listen to the people that are making more sense, the people that are co coming up. How do, how do they both, they're both claiming to make sense. Okay. They, they're both claim. One they, group is saying we make sense. Well, this is, the a, other, this the, is the point of my question, okay? Yeah, yeah. We're asking which laws are better for human beings, for our fellow human beings. I agree. And my question is that do you think who, law, who decides? I'm who decides? I'm asking your opinion. Whether do you think the law that says that we should kill people that leave Islam no, is the there's no law. law. There's no law in Islam that says that. It's a hadith. Listen, you still don't get the point. We went step by step. We show, I showed you step by step that an apostate is someone who comes publicly, announces his apostasy with an intention to spread anarchy, uh, with an intention to get other apostates. Islam is a political faith. Did you know that? That's the, what you wait, said. wait. Islam is a political faith. Did you know that? Yes, I know that. Okay. Islam, politics Islam, Islam is politics, right? So. When you come in public and speak against the state in that way that you want people to leave Islam and follow that person and cause a problem, cause some kind of disturbance, public social disturbance, then there is a law. The law does not allow it. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to explain something to you, right? This is how the Islamic jurists have explained it, right? right. Now, if you decided to be an apostate, let's say at home, Truth. you're sitting in your living room in a state a Muslim, for example, in a Muslim state where, like all other countries, there is a law in place, right? And by the way, this law produced one of the greatest civilizations in human history. One of the greatest, what we call the Muslim civilization. All the libraries, all our scientists, all our philosophers, all our poets, all our universities, all our technological or scientific advancement was, was, a, was a product of this law called the Sharia law. So this law created a, a, an amazing model in the past where Jews, Muslims and Christians are coexisting. So we're talking about that particular law. The Muslims choose to follow that law um, word by word because they believe this law 
is good for humanity. This law is good for our well-being. Right. This law produces good results because we have this example for over a thousand years. Muslims had this civilization. Show us anything like that, we will follow it, right? Now, a particular clause of that law states X, Y, and Z. Muslims take the law holistically. They don't take one clause and say, this clause doesn't make sense, therefore we will make the entire law redundant. No, they take the law entirely and they apply it because they follow this wisdom that when the law is applied entirely, that's when it produces results. If you apply it partially or if you mix it up with other laws, it doesn't work. So now, having explained that, uh, if, a per, uh, if a person wants to break a law, in a Muslim state, who is at fault? Would you would you commit a crime in Britain, even though you don't agree with the law? For example, there's a law that you cannot do X, Y, and Z. Well, would you would you break the law willingly? I'm not brave enough, but if it's an unjust law and somebody breaks it, to then make it's your point, fault. No, then it's your fault. Rosa Park. Sorry. Rosa Park. Do you think they should have said in the back of the bus? I agree. Yeah, I, break the unjust law. Okay. To, okay. To, to, okay. I'm not as brave as that woman okay but if it's an unjust law you break it for the sake of other people okay let's say but let me make my yeah, point okay? okay because there's two things that you just said right and then let so, me so what what, no, what let me let you say let, let's let's you, you use you, 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 you use the noble you use the noble example rosa park four minutes okay. Okay. Right. okay you made you made, you made two, the, the part about publicly saying that you have left islam that's not in the hadith the hadith specifically mentions that if you leave Islam, if you are a Muslim and you leave Islam... How do, how do you know someone leaves Islam? Okay, the, I'm just saying you're... No, your point is redundant. I didn't... How, how do you know someone leaves did Islam? I, did, I did, I interrupt, did I interrupt you when I was... No, no, but I'm asking, I'm asking. Yeah, it's yeah, a conversation. You're asking, but, but I let you, when I tried to interrupt you... But can you saying, explain how, how, do, how do you know someone left Islam? I just, I'm just making the point that the hadith itself didn't clarify that. I'm just pointing that out. The hadith no, itself... No, it does. The hadith itself says that if somebody was a Muslim and they left Islam, no, hadith explains can it. Can I just say a few yes. words and then you can yes. correct me? Yes. Right? You added the, them come publicly and saying, and you said that they're trying to cause anarchy, right? The hadith itself doesn't say if they're trying to cause anarchy. It just specifically says they left Islam. Okay? That they should that they should be punished that they should be punished by death. That's what the hadith said. Another. Another point that you, have, you mentioned is that, no, the second point that I want to make is that basically what you just did, and you, I want you to acknowledge that, you, with all, all of what you said, you basically said that it's justifiable with all the reasoning that you gave. I just want you to acknowledge on camera saying that you think there's justifiable to kill people for publicly mentioning their ideas. Okay. You think that there's, you I am are saying, saying. You are saying there are situations. I am saying. You are saying there are situations that that's justifiable to execute somebody for just announcing that they don't believe in something. Okay. I am saying a government has the right to carry out legal legal penalties on anyone or against anyone who breaks the law. What's wrong with that statement? It's an unjust law. Okay, fine. No, no, you think it's an unjust law. Mm -hmm. I, I accept that, okay? There may be a million people who may who may think it's a just law. Do you okay, think it's just? sorry? Do you think it's just? I believe... To kill a I, No, 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 no. Okay, wait. The way, you see, the question is loaded. This is a loaded question. When you ask this question, you throw a lot of things with the question. I'm trying to explain the practicality of the law so that you understand. A lot of people don't think about the practical side of the law, right? Okay, no, 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 no. Would you, okay, and now, now, now let, let me put a question to you. Let me put a question to you. Okay, in a society, someone comes out and causes anarchy, right? And the law, uh, doesn't allow anarchy, right? right? Yeah. Is the government in its right to... Uh, it's not the same to, thing. Wait, 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 wait. Let's lead okay. step by step, step by step. If someone is breaking the law by inciting anarchy, okay, inciting violence or rebellion or anything like that, yeah. does the government have the right to take action against such people. Yes, Simple. Yes, but the yes, yes. Be just. Okay, yes. Like yes. Jaywalks, you should, yes, you yes, yes. Okay. Now, the, ans the answer to your question is yes. yes. 
Now, in certain societies, anarchy is defined differently. You as an atheist, are you an atheist? Yes. Okay. You, an you as an atheist, what's your definition of anarchy? Give it to me. A definition of anarchy? Yeah. I don't know, no control? Sorry? Lack of control? Who defines it? Who defines no control? I don't know. I, I don't know why you brought up anarchy. Look, do you, do you know humans differ? Yes, absolutely. Humans have different philosophies. Yes. They have different thinking. Yes. And so this is something this is something people like you question. fail to understand that this I'm asking this, you a real simple do, question do think, though. Oh, right? like, ask you, now they change the law in France to ban the hijab. Do you think French Muslims shouldn't wear a hijab? No. I, I believe they should they should either either leave France or they should not break the law. No, they should period. Period. I'm consistent. If if a country bans niqab for whatever if for example Although, China oh, wait, let me. Muslims, is that if they make that legal? I don't, I don't agree with the Chinese. Uh, Uyghurs should leave at the first opportunity. They should leave China. They should, wait, 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 wait. Should Palestinians leave Israel? No, they should continue the resistance. So the devil said Yes, yes. No, 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 no. Palestinians, look, losing your land, losing your land is illegal. By all human standards. Same, wait, same, we're same thing wait. with the Muslims in China, that's their land. Okay. The their land is not taken by the Ch Chinese government. The Chinese, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying if they do not have the power, if they do not have the power to resist, they should leave, right? Okay, Chinese, for, by the way, there is no law in China, as we speak, to force people to sit in concentration camps. So Uyghurs are... If they resisted, they're not breaking any law because there's no law in China currently, as I understand. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if they make that law, Uyghurs have two options: to resist or to leave. In resistance, they will lose lives, they will lose their property, they will lose the land, they will cause devastation. Okay, wait, wait. No, no, no. Okay, they have the they have the option to do that, right? The other option is to leave the land. Okay, Quran tells us clearly: when you are persecuted, leave. Leave, go somewhere else where you have peace and justice, right? Therefore, therefore, no, of course, not. I mean, uh, this okay. is why we are here in the park to like educate people, no, right? Nothing about fighting. Right. It's now, all, it's all surrender. I didn't know that. What's that? What verse is that that it says that you're supposed to leave if you're being? Do you know? What? Yes, I'm yes, I can, I can, I can show you the verse yeah. where it says if you are persecuted, yeah. then go and uh, go. migrate, emigrate to a land where there is peace and justice. So the Prophet himself commanded his companions to leave Mecca, their native city, so where they were being persecuted. So he told them to leave, go. Palestinians should leave. So Palestinians should just no. leave. Yeah, yeah. If Palestinians feel, because do you see the Meccans didn't have the power to resist, they didn't have the power, they would be massacred. So the Prophet told them to leave. Palestinians, if they feel they can resist successfully, they can launch a resistance and they can defend their land from uh, from being taken away. Yeah, so if Muslims in Muslim majority countries feel they can resist, then you're okay with Okay, that? I'm saying if ex-Muslims, uh, yeah, listen to me now carefully. Ex-Muslims in a Muslim country have two options, right? Either they remain silently and don't break the law. When, uh, uh, when a country is governed by the law, Islamic law, most Muslim countries are not governed by the Islamic law, by the way, right? Or the second option is, is it? They, they, sorry, they can leave and go to a country where they're free to do what they want, right? Third option is launch a, a rebellion, fight against the government and see what happens. So, 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 the, so, any civilized person, any, any, any person who's not a troublemaker, who doesn't want destruction, right, who simply wants to exercise his personal right to express his freedom that he's not a Muslim, would simply leave and not break the law. Like, like, like in Britain, those people who want to incite violence, hatred, right, against, let's say, <laughs> against, 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 if, let's say, racist right-wing activists like Tommy Robinson, right? He's inciting a lot of hatred against Muslims, in particular, right? Now, a lot of people, Sorry about this. It's not. A lot of people, a, a, a lot of people don't agree with him. There are some who dis, do agree with him. 
if they get strong enough, if they become a so, such a huge power that they can change the law, they can change the system, do it. By all means, when that happens, I would advise the Muslims to leave because now, now bigots, murderers, killers, racist thugs have come to power. Leave. But you don't think Palestinians are like? Is there, not in but in, in, a, in a Muslim in a Muslim in a Muslim land, yeah. in a Muslim land, what a lot of people don't realize when they use this question of apostasy. The assumption is that Muslims are, are, are bloodthirsty, they're walking around with swords looking for apostates to kill them. Wait, what is the history of Islamic civilization? Number one, our civilization was one of the most tolerant, compassionate. That's not going to work. It's not going to work. What, what, am I, what am I about to say? What, what I want. You're going to talk about how we're peaceful. Listen, wait, 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 wait. It doesn't work in reality. This is the second week I've been here. The second week that I've been. What do you think I was going to say? Because I was an apostate. You said it's not going to work. Yeah. What do you think I was going to say? You're going to talk about it's the religion of peace and that there's going to be. No, 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 no. I was going to tell you. You're going to give some. I was, I was not going to give you theory. Okay. I was going to give you examples. Right. Historically, of someone of, okay, sorry, Muslims, Muslims protected the Jewish people against definite extinction. Okay. Are this to be compelling? I don't, what do you mean? Like, for over. Listen to me. Are you listening to yourself? Are you even listening to yourself? For over a thousand years, Muslims protected the. The, the majority of the Jewish people, 90% of the Jewish people in the world were protected by the Muslims of over a thousand years. You know what that means? What? Do you understand? No, Do you know? I don't. Okay, let mean? me explain. That, that mean? means the Jewish people exist yeah. today to a large extent because of Muslim protection. What does that have to do with you today? Okay, now, this is, I'm saying, this is something you, do you, did you know that, first of all? You know about apostasy in the law, which is fine. Did you know this? Why not? Why not? Your study, your study in Islam is very selective, very focused. You, you have been taught, you have been taught by yourself or by someone else? Let me tell you my experience. Right? It's just being here. Right? If I tell people that I'm an apostate, or someone just like, it's happened to me every week that I come here, two weeks in a row, I'll get threatened with physical violence. No, I, I, okay, 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 wait. You, 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 wait, 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 wait. You, are you an apostate? Yes. I'll, I'll hug you. Come. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have, I have nothing, I have nothing but sympathy and love for you. Thank you. Okay, yeah. I believe, I believe, I don't believe you're an apostate. That's, that's I believe you didn't know about Islam I'll, I'll from the, from the first. You, you didn't know anything crowd, about Islam. Someone in this crowd wants to kick my ass right no, now. No, 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 they don't. Why? There's someone, someone here that this wants to beat Why are you assuming? Because Why are you assuming no, that? It literally happened Why to me. Why are you assuming It happened to me half an hour ago. Because Listen of, to me. I come from, a, I, I come from Pakistan. Yes. Okay, anyway, show wait. me the person who did that. I'm going to go and quickly pray and come back. Okay. What did you guys pray? I haven't prayed, Asaf. Allah, 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 Allah,